Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 10 of season 2 of Oshinoko. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Hmm. Yeah, even though you look nothing alike. Hair wise, kind of. Okay, where then? I'm guessing that's your mom. Mm. I mean, damn, we over here just killing everybody to be killing. Jesus. Hold up. Ain't no effing way. What did he do to you? See, something tells me, because if he is about to drink, he's going to get really drunk. And that's when he's really going to talk. Because there ain't no way in hell that a dad... I don't buy that shit. <laughs> it 
is Sir Ruby. <laughs> Baby, I don't believe that shit. I'm sorry. If he is truly dead, then your act of revenge is over, babe. Sucks to end like that. They both had a right to be worried about him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can live the normal life that you really want to. I still have that bad feeling, though. Like, y you know how in some um, visual novel series or games where you have that quote-unquote bad ending... This feels like a bad ending to me. Aww. At least be more excited about that damn. I mean, seriously, anybody would kill to have 20000 I would kill for 20000 Right? Y'all are still at that, like, teeny, teeny bottom. Well, yeah. Oh yeah, how much do y'all get cut wise? Like, oh. <clears throat> or full time, just in case, and you know, balance. living alone for the first time. <laughs> but see, don't those also have like bad things about it because then people know where the fuck you well, they don't know where you live but they can figure it out in some weird way. I mean, that's okay. Right? It's her money. If she wants expensive luxury things, she can buy expensive luxury things. May?
Oh, can you share that? Yeah. BTW, guys, you will never see that for me. <laughs> Yeah, you really will. It, it's tax season is the worst. Absolute fucking worst. I'm hella good next year. I gotta do times two. Again. <sighs> I don't even want to think about that. Girl, he closer than you think, baby. <laughs> Perfect. Remember, it, it's done. Happy life. There you go.
about my age. It gets very overwhelming and stressful. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just better to ask someone else.
So now what do you do? Yeah, now that your main goal is finito, like damn. <laughs> Ruby. to study or something. Damn. <laughs> All right. Crows. Never a good sign. Oh? Holy crap. Finally, this girl is making an appearance. Being in the opening for how many freaking weeks? And this girl finally is popping up. But we're probably not even going to see anything of an interaction with either one of these two until next week. Okay. Once again, I'm still calling bullshit on their dad being dead. Because that's dumb. That, that, you know, okay, no, no, no. Let, let me tell you like this. Let, let's let, let's put on the conspiracy theory hat bullshit right now. You know how when there are some people who are tired of their lives, um, the routines that they have, they quote unquote fake their death, do like a gone girl situation. And such, which I, I still cannot believe that there are people who actually will do a Gone Girl situation. If you've seen, like, there was this one documentary um, about a situation that happened a couple of years ago where somebody actually did something like that. And I was like, excuse me? Um, but come on, you're telling me a double and he's just dead like that with a snap. And, and now we're just going to have Mellow Aqua. What? Like, mm, mm That, mm, mm no, 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 no. The seeds of this is fishy as I don't know what have been planted and put in and set the scene. Because there is no way in hell. That's too freaking easy. As someone who has watched, like, mystery shows, whodunit shows, anything where it supposedly pops up where it's like, oh, supposedly, like, okay. This person is dead. And then we find out in like the final, the, no, 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 the second to last season of the show, we find out that the person who's supposedly been dead for the longest time, big, big shocker, he's not dead. She's not dead. And we're like, oh my God. So all those other people who died and knew secrets about this person, they died for nothing. I'm not saying that I died for nothing or anything, but. Uh, you know, that that's something else that we'll probably learn more about later on because I have my own still questions on that death for her specifically because I'm like, yeah. But I don't know. No, it, it's a little too suspicious and too easy how his other, his half brother literally gets his phone out and just like, oh, he died so many years ago. That's bullshit. You know, he knows something else. He truly knows something else, but he's just not telling it. And I get it. It's a possibility that it's not the right time right now. I get that. But there is something else spewing under that shit. It's going to blow up. I don't know when, but it definitely will be. But no, this was a very interesting episode. The fact that we're now going into a calm, cold, collected aqua, it is very weird because he, like, okay, he <laughs> he gives me, like, now, especially with the way he is, he he gives very much light Yagami vibes, like, before he was kidnapped and such. And so it seems hella, like, out of pocket or out of the norm for him because I get it he the biggest thing is like you devoted your life up until now to get revenge for your mother's death 
and everybody else who's been, you know, influenced by it. That's why, like, he, he's 100% very similar to one of my personal favorite characters from a, uh, a series called Revenge, um, named Emily, what the fuck was her name? Well, her real name is Amanda, but the <laughs> the name that she was using for her new name is Emily Thorne, um, and how those two are very similar on their acts of revenge and how they're doing it. Thank God, uh, m yeah, thank God Ru Aqua has not killed anybody yet. I don't know. Y'all fucking now. But, you know, hey, if he does, shit. Because <laughs> it's okay, because like, pretty much so many people are dying in this show in the background that we don't really know about until, like, it's time. But I don't know where we're going, like, no, with the rest of this. I feel like now, because of the fact is this little girl that we're going to see next week, she's going to pop up maybe a lot more. And I don't know. What are we going into next week? We about to go into, like, the ghost of Christmas past with this little girl or something? I don't fucking know. <sighs> okay. <laughs> we'll find out next week, I guess. Other than that, guys, it is very active. We turned episode 10 of season 2 of Oshinoko. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 11. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.